Hi, beautiful people. It's Wonderful Wednesday. I'm April Roll, your ER doctor online, and today is time for another garden update. So if you're new to my channel, every first Wednesday of the month, I do a video where I show you the plants that I'm growing in my Grow Some Food series. So before we go outside, I do just want to show you guys and I want to give a shout out to my cousin Sarah who made these gorgeous earrings. They are so beautiful. She has a website where she has handmade earrings. So I'm going to put her information in the description box below if you want to check them out because they are so cute. But for the moment you guys all have been waiting for, let's go outside. Okay, so first as always, I'm just going to do a pan with the camera to show everything and quickly go over everything. Again, my ginger, lemongrass, ginger, aloe and turmeric over here back there again my sugar cane and my moringas kind of it needs some help all my trees nothing really is happening with the big trees um here again we have the banana pup and the banana mom who still has not continued to grow so i'm not sure what's going on there my Okinawa sweet potato still looks like it hasn't given off any shoots. Here's my fig tree. And that's everything else. Now today, I want to highlight a little more on my torpedo pots because everything has been doing so well in them. Um, I Back a couple months ago, I showed you I first planted everything in these torpedo plots and um, basically it's a setup where um, the water system is connected to the back of the hose here and they're all connected. They're on a timer so they pretty much um, get consistent watering. So I'm going to go through and kind of show you the growth that has been happening in those mainly for um, this February's grow series video. So here again, my um, sea grape is not doing too much, but over here, this is my scotch bonnet, um, scotch bonnet pepper tree. And we do have some flowers on it. Actually, we have plenty of flowers on here, like plenty of flowers on here. Guys, these all are gonna become Scotch Bonnet Peppers. And then even down here at the base, we've got some new growth going on. This, <laughs> oh gosh, something's been eating this. This is my California Bell Pepper. It has one little flower. But as you can see, something, something has been eating this, so that's tragic. Over here we have my tomato tree. I think this is the beefsteak tomato. There's not really anything on it right now in terms of fruit or um, flowers. Um, it's not really the right temperature for it, but as I told you before, it's an experiment. I'm a new gardener, so I'm pretty much just learning with you guys. Here's the basil that is doing amazing. Here, collard greens, again, doing great. Here, I have a bunch of kale. I need to like pick one of these and actually eat it for like a salad or a saute or something, but this kale is like, it is taking off. Now here, my poor cucumbers again. Cucumbers like the heat and it is cold for Florida right now, this February 2020. But I do have some, and oh my gosh, something ate it. Something ate it. I was going to show you guys, look at my big cucumber. And as you can see, Something was like, what is going on here? And they ate the biggest cucumber on here. But as you can see, it's a bunch of little little cucumbers. 
again this is not the right temperature for cucumbers but as i told you i just am doing an experiment pretty much this isn't going into focus so let's move on here um i think these are my poblano peppers so as you can see this one has flowers as well on it the poblano pepper this i think is a banana pepper it doesn't have any flowers yet these are my california bell peppers um and this is a jalapeno pepper so these don't have any flowers on it yet but they are thriving in these torpedo pots here if you can remember i put a i put a korean sweet potato in this bag and in this bag over here this one is doing whatever it wants it's just like trailing along the ground it does not want to <laughs> do what i wanted it to do which was grow up the trellis over here as you can see the cucumber is growing up the trellis the way that i wanted it to um but i'll just have to plant cucumber again um now that it's well whenever it's gonna start to be warmer so that i can show you guys because this is <laughs> you know it can happen it can happen look at look at how big this was it was growing nicely and even there you can see something started to eat that cucumber or ate it all actually so I'm gonna have to figure out how to wrap these things but this this is this is horrible these leaves all need to be cut anyway because they should be nice and green like that and so these that plant is pretty much dead so I'm gonna cut it off but yeah, um, that's it for outside pretty much. Again, the torpedo pots, they are having my plants thrive. Okay, now it's time to highlight the indoor garden. So in the back, we have the Royal Verano pears. We have thyme, which I think that one is gone. Yeah, we have scallions cilantro rosemary the one lone rosemary growing there on the second row we have arugula we have sage and we also have remember when i told you i was going to plan a surprise at my um uh my line sister's wedding, they gave out these seeds and she actually told me it's a mix of wildflower. So there they are. I gotta move this one cause this one's like pretty much touching the light. So I'm gonna have to put that one on a different shelf. And then we have down here, the dill still isn't growing. So, you know, it's been over a month. So I'm gonna trash that one and start from scratch. And then also these chives, um and serrano chili aren't growing so i'm gonna trash that and then two um this is a regular sweet uh potato the regular orange kind as you can see i bought it to make pies but it started growing some leaves so i'm pretty much gonna probably plant that one because this is a regular sweet potato the ones that i have outside outside are korean sweet potatoes this is the korean sweet potato how it looks um, just so you can get a comparison, um, this potato is kind of red on the outside and had a, it has a white flesh on the inside. And then outside right now, the potato that you saw has kind of a light tan outside and a purple inside. That one is the Okinawan potato. So guys, that is it for my February 2020 Grow Some Food series. I hope you enjoyed taking you through, me taking you through the backyard, showing you my plants, showing you how everything is going. I'm so happy that you guys decided to spend these wonderful Wednesdays with me. Be blessed and stay healthy.